Hello, welcome to Rip Image today. I'm a Sosan in Noho. Do you know it's possible to do everything right? To believe stronger in the Lord God, obey His word, keep His commandments, attend services faithfully, sow your seed, pay your tithe, give your offerings, pray, 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 and still find yourself in a terrible situation. Yes, it's possible to find yourself in a terrible situation having done everything right. It's very possible. And it doesn't mean that God has abandoned you. No, 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 no. It doesn't mean that God has abandoned you. So when you find yourself in a terrible situation, when you find yourself in a place where there is darkness and no light, but you have done everything right, do not cower. Do not cower. The word of God says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe in his prophet, and you shall prosper. But now you've believed in his servants. You've believed in the Lord God, and there is no establishment in your life. Everything is tearing apart. There is no prosperity in your life. Everything is going out of your way. Fear not. I've come to nine, today with a solution from God's word. Turn with me to Isaiah chapter number 50. I want to read verse 10. He's asking a question here. The God, through the anointing of God's Spirit, is asking a question through Isaiah the prophet. He said, Who among you fear the Lord? Who obey the voice of his servant? Now, I, do you fear the Lord? Do you obey the voice of God's servant? Do you love him with your heart? Then he said, Who walks in darkness and has no light? If your path field of darkness is are you are you in a dark tunnel and there is no light no hope of salvation no hope of help then the lord said let him trust in the name of the lord let him trust in the name of the lord and rely upon his god praise the lord did you get that the best time to trust in god's name the best time to rely in the name of God is when you are in a terrible situation, when you are in the dark pit, in the darkest of pit, and there is no flicker of light, no hope of salvation, no way out. The Bible says that is the best time to trust in the Lord and rely upon your God. Trust in Him. The Lord God does not fear. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. Keep on doing what you are doing. Keep on believing. Keep on trusting. Keep on uh, 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 praying. Keep on doing the world. Keep on serving the Lord God. He will come to your rescue. The Lord God never abandons His own. I hear you get what I'm saying, somebody. He never abandons His own. Praise the Lord. I, and I want to also... Read Second Peter chapter one verse nineteen. It agrees very much with what Prophet uh, Prophet Isaiah said. He said, "We have also a sure word of prophecy." What does the word God says about your situation? That is your sure word of prophecy. Where unto ye do well that you take heed of it, listen to it, grab it, take hold of it. As unto a light that shineth in the dark place, until the day dawn, and the day star arises in your heart. Hold on to God's word. So when you are in a situation like that, you don't cower. You don't run away. You don't give up. You hold on to God's word. You look at you look for what the word of God says concerning your situation and hold on to that word until until the change comes and that change is on your way. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The solution to your problem is on its way. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive that solution now. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive the yeast to rise. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive the opportunity to get out. Of that situation in the name of the Lord Jesus, help comes from to you from Zion now. Deliverance comes to you from Zion now. In the name of Jesus, arise and work. Get 
out of that trouble in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.